Howdy folks, this is Nullified here. I'm just going to explain how to effectively set up your overview so as to make your EVE Online experience uh, a little bit better and less filled with garbage. So, I'm going to start by saying that I am a pirate and I want to set up my overview so that I can only see uh, targets or people that I, I perceive as potential targets. Because uh, I, I don't want to be accidentally locking target on the station or something I don't want to shoot at, that kind of stuff. So I want to limit, I want to filter out all the crap in here. Um, <clears throat> so what I want to do is come over here to this little triangle here next to where it says overview and I want to right click on it and go to open overview settings. Now this is my main settings window. This is really all you need to be able to change anything you want. There are context menus and stuff like this right here, remove Stargate, but uh, this is really the main thing. So basically what I want to do is I want to deselect everything just to make sure there's nothing that I don't want. And under ship, I can right click this ship. This is this is all the different types of ships in this game. Uh, player flyable ships. And I want to uh, go here and right click on it and select all. So I'll select all the different types of ships. You'll see uh, Executioner, Catalyst, Hyperion. Those are different classes and these are You'll notice they're all they're all clicked. Now you can come in here and deselect the ones you don't want. So say for instance I was in a battleship and I didn't want to see small targets I couldn't shoot at, I'd probably come in here and deselect shuttle and probably capsule too. Just to make the overview a little bit cleaner. Um, but you know, you you don't have to, it's up to personal preference. Uh, so I'm gonna come over here to states. <clears throat> Anything that I deselect here will not show up in the in overview. And since I only want uh, potential targets, that means I don't want to be able to see people that I don't want to shoot at, which means people in my alliance, corporation, or my fleet, or my militia for that matter. I also don't want to see wrecks because this actually sometimes leads to lag issues. If, I, if I'm in a large fleet operation or a lot of ships blowing up, this overview is going to have a hard time uh, updating uh, the explosions of ships and their associated wrecks. So I like to leave those off. I also don't want to shoot people with good standing, so I'll remove excellent and good standings. Uh, but other than that, this is this is pretty good. Uh, I do want to see people at war with me, outlaws, bad standings, and neutral targets. Um, <clears throat> I do not care about this though. Only agents are interactable, so I'll, I'll turn that off. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that's about it. It's acceptable to me. Let's go over here to appearance. This this affects this does not affect uh, what types of things will show up on your interview your overview, sorry, but only how they are showed. So you'll notice that, say for instance, on this guy, he has this little icon, and so does this guy in space. You can't see him because I actually removed him from that filter, the uh, the corporation members, but this is still applicable. Uh, you'll see this little icon, that green thing, the star, denoting that. Uh, he is in my corporation. I'm colorblind, so this this can actually kind of looks green to me. <laughs> but this is the one he actually is. Um, so <clears throat> I do like to see what a person is to me. So I generally do not change this except for order. You'll you'll notice that this there's a move up and move down down here, and the higher they are on this list, closer to these these uh, tabs, the more preference there is to displaying them in this way. So I like to see people in my fleet. Most of all, followed by corporation and alliance and good standings. And I also like to <coughs> make shootable targets blinky red just so I know that I can shoot them anywhere. So, like outlaw and war targets. So, if I see someone that's blinking, then I know that I can shoot them anywhere without repercussions. And you'll see this guy shows up as blinky red because he actually fired on me a few minutes ago. Uh, so I, that means I can shoot out on him anytime, anywhere, without having to worry about myself getting blown up. Um, so let's finish doing this. I want to move... So you have Corporation Alliance and Militia and Fleet at the top. I also want to do good standings above war targets because I generally do not have high standings set to people at war. And then I above security status. I care more about standings than I do about security status just because I am a pirate. Uh, so I, I generally see a lot of people with low security status, so I, I don't actually care about that so much. 
Um, and I don't, I don't really care about this shit. Uh, I might leave it on, <clears throat> just, you know, for agents or anything. Um, now, you'll see these gray blocks here. These are for people that do not have any standings to me. You'll notice that since I turn it on, they'll have, they have these gray things. I actually like to keep these off, just because it makes my overview cleaner, and I, it's, uh, it's easier to tell people apart from having standings than not having standings. Um, like I said, I am colorblind, so it's, if I have these on, it makes it a little busier, and it, it's tougher to tell, just at a glance, if they're neutral or not. So I like to turn those off. Now, if we go over to your background, this is, a, you know, essentially the same thing, just appearance altering, that's about it. But this would be, uh, the color of this entire row here. So you saw that other guy before that shot me, you might have noticed that the color of the label was red in the background. There used to be a bug back in the day where those didn't actually update correctly. So what I like to do is just turn all these off. Just to be safer. You know, I like to be safe rather than sorry. So I turn all those off. I don't really care about them anyway. I mean, I, I have these color tags. Those are representative enough of my targets. You'll notice that the same guy, he, he no longer has that color uh, behind his name. Now, E-War, Electronic Warfare. These are modules that are electronic that are uh, aggressive in nature so any uh, you know stasis webifiers warp disruptors uh, cap neutralizers that kind of thing what will happen is if a target is doing one of these actions to you uh, they'll have a little icon next to their name denoting what kind of module it is so if I have someone warp scrambling me I'll have the same icon appear as a warp scrambler would show up as you know if I had a fit on my ship only it would be a little bit smaller next to their name just to be able to show who's doing what now this is incredibly useful if you're in any kind of uh, situation where you need to be able to get out of quickly um, and if someone has a warp scrambler on, or, on you you can see which one's doing it you can target them and blow them up so that you can get out if you didn't have this then you you you're probably screwed you won't know which person is doing it to you and you won't know which one to fire on first uh, so I like to keep all these on regardless um, <clears throat> and that's that's really the, the gist of it so going over here to columns we'll have four different types of columns here selected by default we have icon which is basically just the size of the ship um, the, the size of the brackets denote the size of the ship roughly you have a distance away you are from the target, uh, that pilot's name, and their ship type. The other ones I like to use are velocity and transversal velocity. I'm not going to actually explain transversal velocity because it's uh, it's fairly in depth, and uh, you can find that out on the forums or you know the, the Wikipedia. But it's incredibly useful. This actually allows you to have a, a good idea of whether or not you'll be able to hit your target effectively. So I like to keep that on. You can actually move these up and down. I like the I like the type and the name, or actually the distance, I'm sorry. So the, the higher you move these up, the further to the left they'll be. I like them in this order. So, uh, and then ships, these are just the, <coughs> I explained all this stuff earlier. Um, that's actually, that's how I want it. So I'll, I'll go over here and I'll save this current site type selection as PVP, because I, like I like to name the labels of the settings the same as the tab. So I'm just going to name this PVP because it's my PVP setting. And really what that saves is the filters. It doesn't actually save your your appearance and stuff. This is effective for all settings. It really only affects your filters. So now that we have this set, I'm going to actually change the label of my default because it's no longer default. I'm going to change this to PVP because it's the name of my label. And if I go back over here to overview tabs, this doesn't didn't update, but if I if I open it again, you'll notice that it now the tab shows up as PvP and the overview profile shows up as PvP. And you know these are all the ones I have saved so far. <coughs> bracket profile I like to keep them all up, but uh, you can actually change uh, when brackets show up, which are these little things here in space. And uh, depending on how many brackets you have visible at a time, it actually slows down performance of uh, your your game client. So anyway, now what I want to do is make another one for, let's do NPCs, NPCs only, because I, I, once in a while I like to go to belts and, uh, you know, 
kill NPCs make a little money off the bounties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, deselect all again. And I'll keep in mind I, I already have my, my thing saved, but if you notice over here, this overview tab now just got changed to not save because I just deselected this. Um, I'll pay careful attention to this later on, but uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll speak about that in a second. So let's see, I want... Uh, for NPCs, there, there's this important thing. We actually want entities and NPCs. We, we want everything in here, because these are all, uh, uh, like, you know, police and stuff. Uh, but we also want a lot of these entity objects. There are some in here I don't want, so I'll just select all and go through and deselect the ones I don't want. I don't care about uh, just normal objects, like sentry guns and collidable objects. So I'm just going to go through and remove all these, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back, and you'll notice that I have selected everything I do want to see. Uh, so it's actually a large percentage of these items, but I don't want to see some of this garbage, like collidable objects and some of these down here. So I don't want to see protective sentry guns or spawn containers. So now that we have this all set up, we actually don't need to change any of these because this is largely uh, only applicable to pilots rather than NPCs. And the same thing goes for appearance. So we are ready to save again. I'll save this as NPC only. And you'll notice, see now that my overview shows up as having NPC only, but my tab says PVP. So what I want to do is I want to add a tab name it the same as I did my label NPC only so I have one but you'll notice that they're both the same setting so for PvP I need to reload this load PvP now if I go back to NPC only change load overview what am I NPC only okay so now if I switch between these tabs you'll notice that they actually do keep their respective settings so that's really about it um, I mean, there are a multitude of uh, options and preferences available here. Uh, you can do your different types of ore. Um, one thing I do want to note is that for under charges, you have the ability to uh, display probes. This is very important if you're doing any kind of missioning or NPCing. Uh, you want to be mindful of scanner probes because you can have people scan you down with uh, uh, ship scanners and uh, potentially warp in on you and blow you up if you're in a low security system. So just keep those on all the time. Um, I need to resave. You'll notice that it comes up as not saved because I did make changes. Uh, since this is the NPC one that I just did, I'll save this again with the same label. You'll notice it comes up here. Hit OK. I do want to overwrite. And now I have my settings with scanner probes. I'll do the same thing for PvP later, but uh, that's that's really the gist of your overview settings. Um, keep in mind you, you can import and export these, so your alliance may or may not have uh, settings that they might want you to use. Uh, you can also delete ones that you you have set up. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them. Thanks a lot.